do not light directly from above. It makes you kind of have these weird raccoon eyes. Hi everyone and welcome to pal to tech Today we're talking about how to look better in your Zoom meetings. A lot of the regular viewers of my channel, the professional photographers, already know this, but for the rest of you, the single most important thing that you can do to look better in a Zoom meeting is to add better lighting. And just for fun today, we are going to battle it out head to head with four different lights, ranging from a cheap little $10 ring light all the way up to this $1,000 professional studio light. You're gonna see how they stack up and compare with each other for a typical Zoom call. For this battle, I will be using the same built-in webcam on this laptop computer for each light that I test. I will actually record myself using each light in an actual Zoom meeting using the regular Zoom software. No editing or color correcting will be added to any of the footage shot with the lights. For now, let's set up this room for the test. Most of these lights now need to go off. Okay, all of the lights in the studio are now off except for the light behind me right here and the glow of the computer screen right here. So the first test I'm going to make right now is with no light at all. It doesn't look very good. It's kind of ugly actually. This is kind of what you see with most Zoom meetings. So the first light we are going to test is this little $10 ring light. This is designed to clip right onto a smartphone, but I'm just going to clip it right onto the laptop computer screen. Okay, so here I am running the test with the clip-on light. As you can see, this looks a lot better. Next, we're gonna use a medium-sized ring light. This light right here is $30. What I like about this light is that you can decrease or increase the brightness of the light. Okay, I'm just sitting here talking, testing, one, two, three, four, and seeing how I look on this light in comparison to the other lights. Next, I'm gonna test a $100 Aperture MCRGB. This is a professional portable light used for studio and on-location photography and videography. Okay. Okay, here I am on the Aperture Portable Light, just seeing how it looks in comparison to the other lights. And finally, we come to the $1,000 Professional Studio Light, an Aperture Storm C120D2 with a light dome softbox. Let's try it out. This is a beautiful looking light here for a Zoom call, but it's probably overkill for a Zoom call. This is really interesting because the $1,000 light doesn't look that much better better than the $30 light. I would say that the $30 light, when you're talking about value for money, that seems to be the winner here. All right, so what did this test show us? That having some kind of light, whether it's a $10 light, anything, looks a lot better than not having a light at all. So really, you don't need to spend a lot of money to really up your game and look better on Zoom. But regardless of what type of light you use, here are five tips to help you look better better on Zoom. In your Zoom meeting software itself, go into the settings and make sure that Enable HD is checked. Second, as I've already demonstrated, you need to have at least one light illuminating the front of you and not the back like this. This may seem obvious, but I can't tell you how many Zoom calls I see where people look like this, their back is lit up nice and bright, but their face is in a shadow. You can change this. Go into Zoom, go into the preferences and click on video. And from there, you can preview what it looks like and adjust your light as necessary before you start start your Zoom call. Natural light is absolutely, hands down, the best kind of lighting that you can get. Simply go and stand near a window. Obviously, this won't work at night or if you don't have any windows. Fourth, make sure that you're angling your light properly. Do not light directly from above. Likewise, do not light from below unless you're shooting a scary scene for a Halloween movie. The best placement, if you only have one light, is right up about here, slightly higher, just like this, and toward the front of you. Not too close and not too far away either. Additionally, if you have two lights, then that's even better because you can have one sort of in front of you right here and perhaps one to the side and really fill that scene with beautiful light. Lastly, make sure whatever light you use has a more daylight color temperature. Basically, you don't wanna be using a light bulb or a light source that has a color temperature 
that's too warm or too yellow. It looks like you're in a living room. It's better to have a more daylight color temperature like this, and that'll make your overall lighting and your zoom appearance more balanced. And all of the lights that I have linked down below already have natural daylight light temperatures included with them. Obviously, there are additional things you can do to look better on zoom, such as brush your hair, make sure you're wearing a nice shirt, and so forth. And if you notice, I had all of the lights reflecting off of this monitor behind me, and it's really distracting. And I could have fixed that in two seconds by just angling the TV a little bit to the right or to the left, and that white glow would have been gone, and my zoom scene would have looked a lot better. My point? Make sure that you are focusing on everything in the background, not just the lighting, so that it just looks more professional. As you've now seen, adding a simple and even inexpensive light to your Zoom setup will be the easiest and most notable improvement that you can make to your Zoom settings. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it the like and subscribe. And I will see you again in another video real soon. Take care.